Hello YouTube, and today I'll be showing you the basics of At War. Now I'll be showing the basics of At War because like Hearthstone, I actually do want to make videos of At War and other any other games. And that would require the viewers to understand At War. At War for me is fun. Technically, SP-wise, I'm in the top 200, and recently I also got premium, so that's why I like At War. And I got a free t-shirt as well, so... That was a pretty good deal. So let's get into the basics. Well, first, when you start at war, you most likely be shown to the home screen, and that's where you can press play online. Now, at war has a lot of maps and stuff, so that's why at war is pretty fun. And as you can see, the beginner lobby has even more maps because you do get a free, limited, premium time, I guess. At war is free to play. But, there are ways to play it, should I say, if you pay you do get some extra access, it's not, it's not too big of a deal, in fact, the only in-game, in-game advantage is a general, which is only one, and you, technically it isn't even a big deal, so that's why At War is actually a pretty balanced game, so uh, let us s go to a new guest account here. And when you get into the guest account, there will be a tutorial option. I believe I do not have it here. So, let's start this tutorial game. Alright, so now we're in the tutorial. And for those of you who don't know who Sun Tzu is, uh, not only is he an ancient journal, but Sun Tzu is also the new admin or some head. There's Amok, Ivan and Sun Tzu is the merchant or I don't know what it's called I guess the he's supposed to get at war out to fellow people so technically I think that's what Sun Tzu is but when you join at war you'll get into the screen this is like the basic Europe map and there's a lot of maps like I said so you can pick from any maps now you can pick strategies you'll only have these amounts but you can get upgrades soon and that's why there's a beginner and uh, older lobby so every 30 seconds we'll lose money if we don't pick in the starting screen and this game isn't turn based it is turn based but it's simultaneously and it's kind of twisted so you'll you'll want to check this out uh, I'm going to go with perfect defense and usually you don't have a hundred thousand usually it's specified how much money you get and um, a lot of people like to pick France so I'm going to actually start with France so when you start the game you can mute or play with sound on or off it really doesn't matter and the first thing you need to know is of course the basics now I'm going to actually go through this because when you play the game or if you play the game you can learn the basics so click on the city to buy troops and um, you can move troops now there's multiple ways to move troops you can click this these numbers which make the troops go one at a time and then move the troops all at once or you can and with movement movement isn't one you can change the range and movement of your troops so of course that's all cool um also i'll get into that later so let's do what they're wanting us to they want us to attack amsterdam and then when you end your turn so everyone has the turn at the same time it just isn't updated at it's updated at the end of the turn so when either when the timer ends which is usually around three or four minutes or when the everyone ends their turn now battles how battles work is as you can see it's kind of fast here you can go into the settings to slow it down and i will do that let's go very slow so I can show how battles work. Uh oh. Uh, we might have to start something else. But uh, let's see. Settings. Oh, we have to save the settings. So let's do what they're asking real quick. And go into transports. Now, each unit has multiple values, which I'll explain in a second. But one of these values is capacity. And 
Basically, the capacity is the amount of units that one unit can hold, and it's useful for like transport. So think of like a car or something, something to that nature, or an air transport, which would be like a plane. Um, the range of a unit is the amount or the length it can go. So if we toggle range, you can see that transports usually have more range than regular units. And range can change depending on strategy, which I will also get to later. Uh, let's attack Denmark. So, for example, you can go through with a transport, attack multiple things, or let's... Uh, uh, I kind of messed this up, but they want us to attack Ireland. So what I'm going to do, and also units can, I guess, refuel with other units. So I'll put nine units here. And Netherlands and then move them all the way to Finland or sorry not Finland Norway and as you can see the attack will commence now you see there's two values on the screen for this neutral a neutral is not a real person so you have 36 out of 54 36 is going to be the attack and 54 is going to be the defense so as you can see Infantry have are better at defending than attacking and in cities that you own they'll even have plus one I believe Yes, or yes So the enemy has 12 attack and 16 defense So they'll be using their defense value and we'll be using our attack value since we're attacking And um, Alex also explained how the if two people move at once how it works, but we should win this battle so let's end our turn here and it's on very slow so you can see each unit uses an attack and now we open the values and the attack value is the max amount of a attack and one hit that a unit is allowed so it can be from anything to one up to four or for tanks one since we're using perfect defense as our strategy one to seven and if you were to say defense, then, or the militia, the militia can do up to four, because neutral militia has four defense, so four each attack turn. And if you speed it up, it's simple, it's already calculated, and you can skip those screens also as well. Now what the critical is, is if you get very lucky, then the critical can add damage onto a attack. Your collateral is basically each city has, before I explain it collateral, I'm going to explain health points or HP. HP, every time I do at least seven health to one militia, and you'll be able to see here, two, four, four. So every time I do at least seven health, one militia will die because it only has seven health points. Now let's let's start the turn and let's explain what collateral is and the cost is. So let's look at Berlin here and as you can see this game kind of has a economy, not really. You have finances and each unit ha takes, did I say uh, maintenance cost? Yes. So each unit has a maintenance cost and that maintenance cost will be the unit cost divided by Ten, so the cost per turn will be two, or for infantry it'll be six, or for air transport it'll be sixty. And as you can also see that we have countries that make or cities that generate money for economy. So collateral, what collateral does is if you have a collateral, and let's go to tanks because they have a collateral of two, you'll do a certain amount of damage to the population and income, which will lower the cities. Con city's population and income it's also good to note that each city and i do not have the exact values memorized but each turn the population goes up by about i believe two or one percent and the income goes up by about i believe two percent in a nice city as long as it's past a hundred percent also you get a city bonus which is i forget the number but there is a percentage that 
if you control every city in a country, then you'll get a whole country bonus, which is, of course, a bonus for controlling all cities in the country, and that adds on to the income. So we have defense lines, and when you're first starting out, the f only defense line you may understand is this basic defense line. And these basic defense lines are very nice for blocking out enemies and, and scenarios, but mainly you're going to want to master, and I can do this really fast only because of practice, but, and another way to open cities is click it, but if you double click you can open your units in that city. And as you can see, I'll click one unit, move it, and another way to move units is to adjust the scale and move it. And this is another walls or wall that you'll see. And what it does is any enemy that's at peace with you cannot take your cities, but they may be able to go through walls. And anyone who's in alliance if you have zero in your city they can take your city but usually they won't but enemies or war people you're at war with cannot go through your s walls so these walls will block any enemy from going here what you see is this triangle wall is this triangle wall will block any enemy unit trying to go in your city and i know it looks like it can go in the city but if we use a standard a standard city for this then the units cannot go through and I know it looks like it but the units will not be able to go through unless they break the wall and that gives you extra time and you will be able to send units you won't need to have units in your capital of course you will have opponents so that's why you need to practice your timing and the time won't be 12 minutes it will be three or four or depending on the scenario of the game because there are multiple maps, as I've shown. The bottom bar is the calendar. Now, basically, all you need to know about the calendar is every... Other than in scenarios, there sometimes will be turn-based events where events happen where someone will get units um, on a certain turn. But every four turns, so reinforcements, you gain reinforcements. So on turn four to five, on turn five, you'll gain reinforcements for your city. On turn 8 to 9, on turn 12 to 13, etc. So that's what you need to know, and you also need to know your income, which is how much money you're generating per turn. Once you get good at managing this, this really doesn't become a problem, but sometimes you'll see people like spam a bunch of air transport if they're new, and as you can see, my income just went from 800 all the way down to 200. So let's press OK and then you have your top that explains your cities. I usually don't use this but you can also use auto production and to set auto production you go into the city and you put what you want to auto produce. So let's auto produce bombers in Paris and then let's execute and each turn what auto produce does is you can either execute everything in your auto produce queue or you can or you can wait and each reinforcement turn or each turn let's auto produce bombers also as well in non-test and when we end our turn you'll see that they will make the the bombers so we didn't even have to click it that is useful for when you have a huge empire or of some sort and you need to auto produce those units so you have more time moving and making moves rather than auto producing or producing units you can also instead of I mean I don't do this a lot but you can hold down and that will create that will create units if you just hold down your mouse but I like to spam mainly because it's just I've been doing it for so long so that is the tutorial that is the basics of that war kind of so in my next video I will actually be going in more advanced tips such as turn blocking wfing all of that sort but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and link to at wars in the description